Welcome back. Now, before we take a look at the day's business news, let's first take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. Our top business story, Abu Dhabi's western region is set to become the UAE's next big development hotspot, with economic output expected to reach more than 500 billion dirhams in 2030. That's according to the Al Ghabia Investment Roadmap. The projected rise in the region's GDP, up from 243 billion dirhams in 2010, will be largely driven by an estimated 240 billion dirhams worth of projects to be invested in key economic sectors such as oil and gas at 120 billion dirhams, power generation at 62 billion, infrastructure and transportation at 54 billion, and tourism at 4 billion dirhams. In the next five years, Al Ghabia will see the initial stages of a number of multi-billion dollar projects, such as the Madinat Zayed residential developments, as well as the Rawais refinery expansion owned by Takrir, which when finished in the first quarter of 2014, will produce a total of 832,000 barrels of oil per day. Another significant development is the ADNOC-funded Etihad rail system. Dubai Airports announced today that Dubai International Airport has been confirmed as the world's second busiest airport for international passenger traffic, moving ahead of Paris's Charles de Gaulle Airport for the first time. Dubai Airports has maintained its passenger growth this year, rising 13% to hit 10,640,120 passengers in the first two months of the year, from the same period in 2012. Dubai Airport CEO Paul Griffith stated that they are looking to overtake London Heathrow as the world's busiest airport for international traffic by 2015. And over in the capital, Abu Dhabi Airport's company recorded a 13.1% growth in passenger traffic for February over the same period last year, with over 1.2 million passengers passing through the airport. Aircraft movements in February also grew by 7.5% and cargo volume increased by 16.7%, reaching 50,020 tonnes. India recorded the highest in passenger traffic for February, growing by 9.1% over the same period last year, followed by Germany, then Thailand, Saudi Arabia and then Pakistan. Nikhil has announced that it has sold over 95% of villas at its Al Fajan residential project, which have been handed over to purchasers. The company said in a statement that the remaining 61 units at Alpha Jan will be delivered by May this year. It also revealed that landscaping work for over 30 park areas and walkways for the project have also been finished. The project is made up of 819 residential units, including terraced houses and detached villas. Dira's city centre is set to receive a 22 million dirham upgrade. That will create easy access to the metro, as well as an upgrade to the food court. Fuad Mansour Sharaf, the senior director of property management at Majid Alpha Tame, was quoted as saying that the developments will be unveiled in stages, starting with a more open floor plan for the centre court in late May, An access ramp will be added to the Dubai Metro entrance by June and in August extra dining options will be revealed in addition to more comfortable seating. The centre attracts over 20 million visitors per year and boasts over 370 stores. 
Additionally, Dubai's oldest mall, the Al Ghurair Center, will also be given a 2 billion dirham upgrade injection that will boost an entertainment will, that will boast an entertainment center featuring an indoor roller coaster and ice rink, said to be completed in the summer.